Okay. Hi there. Um, I'm just talking to Lisa Rex, who is the senior UX researcher at Acquia. And you've just done a great session about uh, researching um, usability on uh, websites and improving the usability and giving us some, some tips for mm -hmm. how you uh, don't fall flat on your face when you, when you launch. Yep. Um, I asked you a question which I, uh, in the session which I wanted to ask you again on camera so all of our users, uh, on, all of our viewers on YouTube can uh, profit from, from your answer. Sure. Which was, um, how, um, or, or is the, the design, so the, the, you, you do all the usability researching and then you come up with a design which is uh, hopefully uh, usable. Does that entire design have to be finished by the time the actual development starts? So what we try to do is we, no, <laughs> essentially. <laughs> um, the whole design is not completely finished, but what we do is we have like fully fleshed out, um, high res, you know, high fidelity, prototypes that we hand over to our developers and and how we get to that process is usually like you know getting some feedback at the earlier stages um, where there's maybe just some you know it's maybe it's just an idea like I mentioned that we would validate a roadmap and then you know, maybe we like you know show them some wireframes if there's time it's yeah. not always the case okay and yeah. how, how does that fit into an agile process because presumably you do as much of the design as is necessary for the first sprint uh, well, actually, no. We we want to get all of design kind of laid out so that we can see how it all works together. Um, because often there could be some sort of surprises if you sort of do it in pieces. So, but we have the we have the sort of overall vision in place. Then, yes, the developers will like start with the most important things and start building those. Yeah. Um, so the design does evolve throughout the development. Oh, it stage. definitely can. Yeah. Okay. So if we're yeah. getting feedback, you know, at a midpoint, and we learn, you know, well. That the way that loads isn't going to help then, right? Okay. Yeah. And um, so the second question: uh, How do you um, ensure that customers have confidence in that process? Because if you're, if you can't tell them right at the start of the process exactly how it's going to mm -hmm. uh, look at the end of it, how, how do you kind of keep uh, keep the spirits up and ensure that they don't lose faith? Right. Well, so we're, well, we're fortunate. I mean, at Acquia, like we don't have customers necessarily. We, mm -hmm. you know, we're building for our internal internal stakeholders. So our product owner is sort of our customer. Yeah. So, you know, and the other thing is like we're, we don't actually have as tight deadlines as maybe some other like mm. client facing um, agencies would deal with. But, you know, to that point, you know, we, we spend a lot of time like scoping a project and figuring out how long the design and the development's going to take. And, you know, we break everything down so we know like what are our must haves. And so we'll focus on those. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So it's just a, it's like a question of communication um, and about um, ensuring that you actually identify the problems that, that you're trying to solve. Correct. And, and ensure that there's kind of confidence yeah. that that's actually Yeah, yeah. and I mean, I'll be honest, the bulk of the, the validation that we do usually happens right after something is sort of in beta. Yeah. So it's, it's live, people are using it, and so we use that as a combination of like collecting the sort of beta testers feedback as well as like the, the, the research we do with or the you know questions we ask to yeah. people who are using it so, okay yeah and there might be one question that i didn't prepare for um is, do you have a background in drupal in development or in site building or how did you end up Ye using drupal yeah i started doing site building about four years ago mm. um before that I, i've done some front-end work so um, my my drupal site building career didn't really take off um <laughs> i did i did a little bit of theming and i mean i and i have i have a module yeah. And oh, um, right. it's really simple, but yeah. uh, well, you're a lot so further ahead than I am. Oh. I've, I've just done a little bit of site building, and okay, yeah, maybe one day. Yeah, uh, yeah. it's yeah. really not impressive, but this module—it's just uh, an exported view. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Well, maybe uh, that's the next step that I'll take. Yep. Yeah. yeah well, thanks very much for your time. Thanks for the interview, and thanks for the session. It was Thank great. you very much. Thanks.